Peace. What's going on, YouTube? This is my second tutorial. Sorry it took so long. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do these reason remote files. I'm going to show you how to put those into the propeller head software. Like I said, sorry it took so long. Big up to all my subscribers. To everybody that gave me a shout out. All right. Um, let's make this simple and short. Let's go. Let's go to Kai Pro. Pick up to all my MPK25 users also. Let's go down to USB controllers. And MPK right here. Click on that. Alright. You're going to go to the overview. And you're going to click on down, downloads and docs. Docs and downloads. You're going to get a lot of information here, but you're looking for the reason remote files, which is right here. All right, you're going to click on this, you're going to download it to your desktop or your download folder, whatever suits you. All right, you're done with that. I already have them, so I'm not going to do it again. All right, let's go. Follow these instructions, and your MPK 25 remote file is going to be in the uh, propeller head software so when you look for it it's going to be there all right so let's go i'm going to get the ones i downloaded and they're in my download folder i'm going to put those on my desktop to make it more easier <coughs> excuse me all right let's go to computer let's go to your c drive Alright, the folder that you need is not going to be here. So, what you have to do is go to organize, folder, and search options, and you go to view. Alright, you're going to have to make it viewable. Show hidden files, folders, and drives. Click on that. Apply. Hit OK. Alright, so now it's here. Program data folder. That's what you need. Let's click on that. Here it is, propeller head software. There's it right here. Click on that. And this is what you need right here. This remote file. All right. So click on that. You're gonna have the codex, and you're gonna have your maps. Let's click on codex, Lua, codex, and you're gonna have this archive folder right here. That's what you're looking for. So let's go head over to the uh, Akai Reasons remote files. Open this up. You have your little codex right here. Click on that. Now, open the Sakai folder up here. I'm going to take everything in here. Select all. Okay. I'm going to copy it into this Sakai folder here. Paste. See that? Alright. I'm going to select this. And we're going to copy and replace. When this box come up, you hit continue. You're all set with that. Let's go back to the maps folder. Click on that. Let's go back over here. Click on this maps folder. Alright. Let's open this up. Here's another archive folder here. Let's open this one up. Alright. You're going to open this up. And you're going to take everything in here. Once again, you're going to select it all. You're gonna copy it to the Sakai folder right here. Okay. Paste. Do the same thing. Click this. Copy and replace. You're gonna get the pop up. You gotta continue. And that's it. You're all done. You just put your reason remote files into your propeller head software. Now, when you go to search for that device, it's going to be there. The MPK25 is going to be in that list. All right. And you're all set. Now you're ready to go make that, that banger, that fire, that pissy, grimy hallway hip hop shit. All right. Once again, rate, comment, and subscribe.
and and big ups to everybody that gave me a shout out and that um, subscribe to me. Appreciate it. Peace.